What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're gonna talk about this whole YouTube blackout, this whole monetization deal, people not getting their videos seen, uh, algorithms, whatever. So two of the biggest YouTubers that I follow have spoken about this just in the past day and that is Philip DeFranco and Boogie2988. And it is, Philip DeFranco might be leaving YouTube uh, because he's so frustrated with it. And again, I'm not going to pretend to know the ins and outs. I can only share with you my story from my little bit of experience. So obviously I took over our YouTube channel at the beginning of the year. And when I took over, we had around seven or 800 subscribers on this channel. And here we are today in April where we have, what, 26,000, something like that. So, um... You know, it's obviously been a really good few months for us here at the Geeks and Gamers YouTube channel. But as we've grown and as I've seen what videos work and what videos don't, I, I literally, like, if I post a Star Wars video, especially if I put The Last Jedi or Kathleen Kennedy or something like that in the title, video just flies. Like, it goes insane so fast. The views just pile up. And I guess I'm in some type of Star Wars algorithm, which is kind of weird, but I'm not complaining. Then when I post non-Star Wars content, like for video games or anything like that, nobody sees them. Nobody watches them. And then I hear, then I'll make another Star Wars video, because that's what I want to talk about. And that's what I'm being known for now, is the Star Wars stuff. And I hear all these motherfuckers getting in my comments going, Oh, you, sh you don't do anything but talk about Star Wars. Like, bitch, I've posted plenty of non-Star Wars stuff. Nobody watches it. It's not my fault. I can't help it. I, ha I have no idea. Come here, honey. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Everybody wants to see you anyway. Come on. Come on. Everybody wants to see you anyway. <laughs> so... I don't really understand. It's to me it's weird. It's weird that my Star Wars videos, some of them can go get 20, 30, 40, 50, some are over 100, some are over 200,000 views. Then when I post really good content, at least in my opinion where I'm talking about news on highly anticipated video games or breaking news on certain things going on in DC or Marvel or if I spend like I spend a lot of time on my Avengers ranked or I'm sorry on my Marvel Cinematic Universe ranked video I spent a lot of time editing that shit together fucking like 2000 views it, you know I'm um, so I don't understand how it all works I can see where it's frustrating for some of these bigger um, channels and platforms and I guess I can see how it's frustrating to a smaller one again I'm not complaining because Bottom line, we've had a great few months, and maybe we've peaked, maybe it's over, maybe I'll never hit 30,000 subscribers on this channel, I have no idea, I really don't. I do, I wish that our videos got, I would trade in if, if I'm getting 50, 40, 50,000 views on my Star Wars videos, and I'm getting two and 3,000 on non-Star Wars stuff, I would easily, I would gladly trade in you know, 20,000 views on the Star Wars stuff if I can bump up uh, the content for our, our other uh, videos. But again, I, who can complain when you've gained 20-something thousand, 25,000 subscribers in just a few months? I'm not complaining at all. I'm very happy with the last few months. Yes, I'm concerned that maybe, maybe I'm we, we've peaked because the subscriptions have slowed down. Maybe we've, you know, reached the audience that wants to hear us. Honey, will you come on? Come here, come here. So I, I really don't know. Um, I, I do know that videos with Leia actually do a lot better. So um, so she's my good look charm. But that's my take on it. I'm still learning it as I go. I've been demonetized a few times. Obviously that video I made the other day where I dropped something like 50 something mother effers um, got me in some real hot water with YouTube. And I don't know if, if that's really hurt uh, our search terms or anything. But the Star Wars videos are still doing well, and so that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm just going to title it "Last Jedi Star Wars Kathleen Kennedy," and it'll all, it'll show up in everybody's feed. Um, but I appreciate the support. I'm very happy with the last few months, uh, even if this is the peak and and this is as far as it goes. I have no idea. I'm going to keep plugging away. I'm going to keep being very blunt, very honest. I've got some really cool plans for this YouTube channel, and I do think we can continue to grow. But I do feel that that I'm at the mercy of an algorithm. I, I have, but I have no idea. It's 
it's kind of crazy. It really is. It's it's kind of crazy that like someone that has built an online community with Facebook. I watched how Facebook, you know, once we built up our following, then we fell into whatever Facebook wanted to happen happened and whatever they didn't want to happen would happen and it was very frustrating and maybe that's happening here at YouTube I don't know I'm not educated enough and I'm super super uh, like a greenhorn at this in terms of my YouTube career so I'm only speaking on the little little bit of things I've experienced right now there are far more educated far bigger channels far, that have far better information than I do so that's my take on it but we're going to keep plugging away here at the Geeks and Gamers channel. No, I'm not going to stop posting non-Star Wars stuff. I'm going to post my Star Wars stuff because that's what I'm passionate about right now. Um, and then all of you morons that get in my comments and say all you do is talk about Star Wars. No, motherfucker. I talk about a lot of things. I'm sorry that the algorithm is only showing you my Star Wars content. So, you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.